In this video, I'll show you how to make this space shooter using MakeCode Arcade. First of all, on the editor, under Sprites, grab Set My Sprite, and then you'll need to draw a spaceship. There we go, that'll do for now. To get this moving under Controller, just grab the Move My Sprite with buttons. It's a good idea to rename your variables so that you can keep a track of what things are as you make it. Uh, under Scene, grab Start Screen Effect and change it to Star Field so it looks like you're flying through space. Also, when you start the game, you want the ship to be at the bottom, otherwise it's going to collide with things early on. If you just grab the Set My Sprite Position to, and then click on one of the boxes, you can actually just click the coordinate of the grid. Don't forget to change the variable back to Spaceship, or whatever you've named it. And also, under Info, I've grabbed Set Life to 3. To spawn something in, on game, grab the on game update every 500 milliseconds, and I'm going to use a sprite for the enemies. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Uh, you can't call it enemy though, because that's the kind, so I'm going to call these bad burgers, because I'm going to speed things up by using one of the pre made sprites available. Um, under the gallery, I'm going to grab the burger, but I highly recommend that you can draw your own original artwork. Change the kind to enemy and this will come in use later. Also, make sure to set the position of the bad burger to something random along the top. So it's just the X position I want to change. The Y position is going to be the flat line at the top. So I could do it from 0 to maybe 160 pixels, which is the screen width, but some arcade devices are slightly different in size. So just grab the scene, see screen width, and just drop it in there. Super easy. Also, I want the burgers to be chasing the spacecraft so they can uh, crash into it. And that's how you lose a life. So get set bad burgers, follow, and whatever you named it, the spaceship. And make sure to drop the speed down as well. You're moving at about a speed of 100. So make sure to drop it to 50 to give yourself a chance to move away from the burgers. Now let's get the spaceship shooting. So I get on a button pressed, and now I can use the projectiles. For overlapping, it's much better to do it this way, and that way later on, as you develop your game, you can create other multiple sprites that are doing different things as well. Create a sprite that's just one pixel across and three up, and then make them come from your spaceship with a velocity of just the Y direction, when it's a positive number, like 100, things fall down, and when it's negative, things go up. I don't want them to go left or right, so I've left that at zero, and there we go. When I press the button now, it shoots the bullets from the spaceship. I've just increased the speed to 100, so they move quite quick. All we need now is the overlap commands, as in when my bullet overlaps with the burger, you want it to explode, and when the burger overlaps with us, you want it to damage us. So. On sprite of kind enemy overlaps the other sprite of kind player. That means we want to destroy the sprite, which is the enemy. Make sure you grab that red block variable from the overlap and drag it into there. And then we can also add some effects and things too after we've grabbed the info, changed life by minus one, and play a sound under music as well. So this will mean that when one of the burgers, or the sprite, crashes into our spaceship, it'll destroy the burger, but not us in one go. It will change our life by one, and play an effect two. I can now duplicate this whole thing, and just change some of the parts for when our bullet overlaps the burger. So we can go and change it to, on sprite of kind projectile, which is the projectile coming from our ship, overlaps the other sprite of the kind enemy, destroy the other sprite. Make sure you drag the other sprite red variable into the actual command. Um, when our projectile hits the burger, we can play a sound effect, destroy it with an, with an effect, I've gone for fire, 
and also that will change your score. I'll just put that in a minute. Oh, I've also just added under music, play sound pew pew effect for when you're shooting the lasers. And that's under info to grab the change score by one. And there we go. The last tip to share with you is that if you right click anywhere on Make Code Arcade and press Format Code, it snaps everything to the grid and aligns it and makes it look beautiful. So it's much easier and clearer to see. All of the different categories are grouped together. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.